This is Into the Multiverse with Josh Peck. Hello and welcome to Into the Multiverse. I am your host, Josh Peck. If you haven't had a chance to do so, make sure you subscribe and click the little bell to let YouTube know that you always want to be notified when a brand new episode comes up. And just in case YouTube doesn't notify you, because they tend to do that from time to time, just know that every Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Central, you will get a brand new episode of Into the Multiverse. So is the LHC at CERN a quantum alchemy machine? In case you're not familiar with what that is, the ancient study of alchemy was the norm in the ancient world world, covering several philosophies and spanning over three continents during about four millennia. Now, over time, it was largely passed up for more credible sciences, such as chemistry. However, many of the same themes still apply, especially in modern-day quantum physics. Now, one of the main goals of alchemy was to transmute one substance to another, more specifically base metals into noble metals, such as gold or silver. Uh, ancient alchemists also had the goal to create what was called the Philosopher's Stone, uh, which was fabled as being a substance that could transmute metals, as well as provide immortality to the one wielding it. So, for example, this comes from Wikipedia, quote, The Philosopher's Stone was the central symbol of the mystical uh, terminology of alchemy, symbolizing perfection at its finest, enlightenment and heavenly bliss. Now, the study and practice of alchemy was obviously not biblical nor Christian. Uh, it was of the occult. And what's strange is these things are still sought after in scientific circles today. Transforming one substance to another is exactly what the LHC at CERN does. Now, the LHC is quite literally the philosopher's stone of quantum physics. The LHC smashes protons together to form new and exotic particles. Now, the way this works has not been adequately communicated to the general public in mainstream science, but basically it all starts with quantum fields, the study of which is known as quantum field theory, or QFT. Now, everything in existence is fundamentally produced by quantum fields. So particles are really nothing more than waves in quantum fields. Uh, matter and energy are essentially the same thing. Now, of course, there is much more to it, but those are the basics of quantum field theory. And we also have done other episodes on that topic, on Into the Multiverse, so you can go back in the archives and watch those. But when a field has enough energy in a localized area, that spike in energy is what we recognize as a particle. So it's not that the energy spike or wave creates a particle, rather that energy spike is the particle. Now this is true for all elementary particles such as quarks and photons and things like that. Now, when two protons collide in the LHC to create a brand new particle, it's not that these protons are combining their substances to rearrange into a new one. What's happening is the protons are being obliterated and the released energy goes into other quantum fields, thereby creating a wave in a different field, which in turn is recognized as a new particle if it's a previously undiscovered quantum field. Now, there's a conception that the LHC at CERN is basically a giant blend blender. Uh, think of it in terms of a banana smoothie. You throw a banana, some milk, and ice into a blender, and you get a banana smoothie. Now, technically, it's a different thing, but it's made from the same substances you put into it. This is not at all how the LHC works. Uh, for example, a Higgs boson is not made of the same substances as two protons. The Higgs boson is something entirely different. It's made from different materials. It would be like putting banana milk and ice into a blender and getting a diamond ring from it. <laughs> uh, now, experimental quantum physics is quantum alchemy. Uh, think about it. Physicists are literally changing one substance into another, and the LHC can be thought of as the world's largest transmutation machine. Now, another interesting thing is ancient alchemists believed in four basic elements. Uh, these were water, earth, air, and fire. So most frequently, classical elements refer to ancient concepts, which some science writers compare to the modern states of uh, matter, relating earth to the solid, water to liquid, air to gas, and fire to plasma. Now, modern physicists recognize four forces in the universe. These are electromagnetism, gravitation, uh, the strong nuclear force, and the weak nuclear force. 
So everything begins at the most fundamental level. If they're able to transmute one particle into another, it's only a matter of time before they can begin doing this on a larger scale, on a more macro scale. There's an idea presented in Gans Shimura's Age of Deceit 2 that the image of the beast, spoken about in the book of Revelation, might possibly turn out to be a type of golem. So you might be asking yourself, what is a golem? Well, in Jewish folklore, uh, a, a golem is an animated anthropomorphic uh, being magically created entirely from inanimate matter. And the word was used to mean an amorphous, un, uh, uh, unformed material, usually out of stone and clay uh, in Psalms and medieval writing. So take the idea of the golem, add this to the idea of CERN creating living consciousness with the LHC, as I wrote about in Abaddon Ascending, written with uh, best-selling author Tom Horn and available now at skywatchtvstore.com. Combine those two ideas, and we are headed to a possible fulfillment of the image of the beast prophecy from Revelation 13, 15. So are we seeing the beginnings of this type of technology today? Will there come a day when transmutation reaches beyond the quantum level? Is CERN the precursor to a biblically prophesied future of re-emerging alchemy and occult sciences? Or, impossible as it may seem, are we already at the door of this type of quantum future. Well, I say it's best to prepare now, for only time will tell what's ahead. Now, again, if you haven't had a chance to do so, make sure you subscribe, click the bell, and just know that every Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Central, you will get a brand new episode of Into the Multiverse. And I would love to know what you think about quantum alchemy, CERN, the LHC, and uh, our near future. Leave me a comment in the comment below, on the comment section below, excuse me, on YouTube, and uh, let me know what you think. All right, all that being said, thank you so much, and until next time, take care and God bless. Are you ready for the best deal anywhere on Jonathan Kahn's newest works? Now, while supplies last, when you purchase New York Times best-selling author Rabbi Jonathan Kahn's brand new book, The Paradigm, from Skywatch TV, you'll receive an unprecedented special offer. Skywatch TV is proud to announce the ultimate paradigm collection. When you purchase Paradigm from the Skywatch TV store, you'll receive The Tales of a Wandering Prophet by author Hugh B. Sin, the minister who spoke to Jonathan Kahn before he released his breakout book, The Harbinger, and prophesied that it would indeed become a New York Times bestseller before it actually happened. In this book, Hubie shows you how to hear from God and demonstrates how God can use anyone for His glory. You'll also receive Jonathan Kahn's best-selling books, The Book of Mysteries and The Mystery of the Shemitah. But that's not all. In this incredible limited-time offer, we'll also include two full-length special presentations on DVD by Rabbi Jonathan Kahn himself. In the six heavenly entities, Kahn reveals how God chose to use the Hebrew language to communicate His Word, and how the awesome reality of God is often diluted when the English language is the only one used to interpret Scripture. In the cosmic Bride and Bridegroom, you'll discover that one of the greatest mysteries in Scripture is often clouded by common misconceptions regarding our relationship to Christ. Sold separately, this exclusive offer retails for more than $120, yours now for only $29.99 plus shipping and handling. You won't find this collection anywhere else, so don't delay. Order the Ultimate Paradigm Collection now at skywatchtvstore.com or call 1-844-750-4985.